the CEO of United Healthcare was killed in cold blood. And um, Americans are celebrating. Now, I don't condone killing anybody or any of that nature, but, you know, United Healthcare has denied so many claims, has the most denial rate of any company, and they were planning on having an AI that had a 90% denial rate, which is evil. I personally experienced being denied from healthcare claims. Um, it's terrible. And then I had to go through all these different hoops just to get it, um, covered. Like for my dental care, I got like a bill and I had to go through, uh, this person, that person, that person just to get it, um, uh, covered. I had to get this benefits go, uh, sent from my healthcare to my dental to this, to that. It's so stupid. And uh, all because one person made a mistake and and then I have to deal with it all the time because, you know, the dentist office or the healthcare company, um, you know, uh, sent in the bill wrong. You know, and I I had to deal with that. I shouldn't have to deal with that as an American. If I were to change the healthcare industry, first of all, I would make it so that your network anywhere. This isn't Kaiser Permanente. Any healthcare uh, thing you have besides Kaiser Permanente should be accepted anywhere. And one of the worst healthcare things that I've been on was uh, Ambetter because it's not accepted anywhere. You know, like they don't deny a lot of claims, but it's not really accepted anywhere because it's Obamacare and they don't pay the top dollar, right? Like, you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield and whatever it does. And that's another company that's st- uh, wanted to do evil by uh, denying people's uh, uh, anesthesia halfway through surgery. And now you got doctors that are mad at the insurance ag- ag- agencies. All these companies, uh, they make money off of uh, you spending a premium on them and then denying claims left and right. They don't make money off of accepting claims, right? Because then they would lose money. If they accepted everyone's claims and they had the same premiums, they would lose money because people need health care. My thing, you know, maybe we could do something like that. Or, you know, maybe we can get rid of the healthcare industry altogether. Like, what if we had no insurance for anything, right? For any of these things. And different doctors had to compete with each other. That's what they do in uh, Thailand. And it's actually cheaper. We can do something like that. Um, I think any time uh, the government is involved, it might actually get worse because, you know, the Ambetter is provided by the government as in uh, Obamacare or whatever, and it was worse. And um, we don't have, you know, I mean, when these insurance companies deny claims, you know, in the United States, it's not like we have, you know, free health care. It's hard to get on Medicaid or uh, Medicare. Um, as an American, and like I said, Ambetter sucks. So it really, it's terrible. Once they deny claims, you're all, you're almost shit out of luck. Um, and you know, in the United States, uh, medical debt is the number one form of debt, more than student loans or anything like that. Um, I mean, people are angry in this country, and they have a right to be. So many people have experienced. What it, that it sucks to to have uh, for this health care insurance and people are treating Americans like shit. You know all these other company uh, countries uh, with free health care or whatever are uh, have better care, right? We pay more than anyone else in the entire world. We pay more than anybody else in the developed world. And our health care sucks. We have one of the lowest uh, 
life expectancies. Our food sucks. We're being poisoned, you know, through our water. Um, all these drugs that are out are actually killing us. And we, we shouldn't be mad about that. No, I, I don't condone violence against the healthcare industry people, but, you know, it, as soon as that guy got killed, Blue Cross Blue Shield reversed their decision uh, with uh, not accepting, uh, with denying uh, anesthesia payments halfway through the surgery. They, they, they reversed it. I'm not saying violence is the answer, but I'm just saying there needs to be a message sent by our government or whatever that this 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 can't continue. You can't keep continuing to screw people over like this and expect people not to retaliate in some form or fashion. I mean, maybe we should just not all we should all not get health insurance and you know, pay for each other's health care that way and bankrupt these motherfuckers, you know?